In this tutorial video we're going to introduce you to the chain rule for differentiation. Now the chain rule is a rule for speeding up differentials that involve a function that we wrap around another function, so a function inside of a function. So what do we mean by that? Well if we say take a function x squared plus 6 and we wrap a power 3 round it, that's a function within a function that chain rule applies to that function. If we take say x squared take 5 a function and we wrap an e round it, that's a function of a function, e to the power of x squared minus 5, the chain rule does apply to that one as well. Let's say we take a function 5x and we wrap a ln round it, again that's a function of a function. An example of something that's not is taking x squared and multiplying it by x plus 5. That's not a function of a function, that's a function multiplied by another function. So the chain rule doesn't apply in this case. So the chain rule only applies to functions of functions. And all of these examples above here, they are functions of functions. We've taken a function and we've wrapped another function around it. So the rule for differentiating functions of functions, y equals 5x plus 7 to the power of 5. Now how I, how I imagine this being done is imagine someone standing outside that bracket. All that, all that that person can see is a bracket to the power of 5. They can't see through the brackets. So they do the best they can. dy by dx is well, something to the power of 5 becomes 5 something to the power of 4. But dissatisfied with that, they then look inside the bracket and differentiate that. We multiply by the differential of what's in the bracket. So 5 lots of whatever was in the bracket, the power of 4, times the differential of the bracket. So that becomes 25 5x plus 7 to the power of 4. So let's apply that in a few different contexts. So part 2, y equals e to the power of x squared plus 5. Well, there's not a bracket written there, but we're going to write one. The bracket is around the power. So this person standing outside, all they see is e to the power of something. Well, we know that e differentiates to itself. So e to the something differentiates to e to the something not bothered what that something is yet but then dissatisfied we then look inside the bracket and multiply by the differential so that becomes e to the x squared plus 5 times 2x which is 2x e to the x squared plus 5 part 3 looking at the context of ln's we've got y equals log of 4x plus e to the x so all that person sees is log of something that person can't see inside the brackets yet well log of something differentiates to 1 over whatever that is but not being happy with that we then take a look in the bracket and differentiate that times well the differential of 4x plus e to the x is 4 then e differentiates to itself, e to the x becomes e to the x, filling in the gap 4x plus e to the x equals 4 plus e to the x over 4x plus e to the x. Then finally in the context of trigonometry, y equals sine 4x plus 12x squared. Well again imagine a person standing outside the bracket not being able to see in. Well dy by dx, well the differential of sine of something is cos of something. Then not being satisfied we take a look inside the bracket and multiply it by its differential which is 4 plus 24x. Therefore, the differential of 
cos of 4, of, sorry, the differential of sine of 4x plus 12x squared is 4 plus 24x times cos of 4x plus 12x squared. And that's the chain rule for differentiation. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.